What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Now, I did a video about Bernard Hopkins three days ago. The title, still, Bernard Hopkins training like a youthful teen, will fight before his 52nd birthday, the alien. And his 52nd birthday will be in January, and it looks like he's going to make good with that promise because he is fighting Joe Smith Jr. at the Fabulous Forum in Inglewood, December 17th. Now, there's some good and bad news. Good news is this is a farewell fight to Bernard Hopkins, and it's a good fight. The bad news is the original main event has now been compromised. Takashi Miura versus Orlando Salido was supposed to take place in that same slot, and that fight is now canceled. Salido is hurt. He has a back injury, so that fight got scrapped, postponed. I don't know if they'll restage it, but that was a potential fight of the year, so kind of disappointing that that fight is not happening back to Bernard Hopkins B hop he's the man he's a legend in the game at age 51 I'm gonna tell you guys like this at this advanced age even though stylistically Joe Smith jr. style plays well into Bernard Hopkins style he's at an advanced age so it's always gonna be interesting and entertaining to watch you go to Bernard Hopkins box rec I mean this is record he is 51 years old and he's fighting punchers and most guys don't do that especially for a farewell fight most times when you see a person do a farewell fight they'll have a hometown fight against a bum who has absolutely no chance to defeat them not even a puncher's chance really right and it's just a farewell and then you ride off into the sunset bernard hopkins is taking on a good test because for those that don't know joe smith jr knocked out andres fanfara a quality fighter in one round on PBC and he built a name he didn't have a big name before that but that definitely enhanced his his repertoire because Fanfara was climbing back up the ladder he gave Adonis Stevenson a good fight Adonis knocked him down then he knocked him he knocked Adonis down and lost that fight but then he started climbing back up beating guys like Chavez Jr. cleverly and then he got stopped by Joe Smith Jr. So definitely a good fight for Bernard Hopkins. Stylistically, if it is the Bernard Hopkins of old, he does well with his style. See Kelly Pavlik fight. Guys who are punchers, but kind of slow, maybe don't have his level of wisdom and ring IQ and, and intelligence and experience. But still, it's, it's always going to be with guys like Bernard Hopkins, him versus Father Time, because you never know when it'll just click. Not to mention, I got to add, his very last fight was a while ago, like over a year ago with Sergey Kovalev, and he took some bad punishment in that first and 12th round. That 12th round especially, it looked like he was on the verge of getting stopped. So we don't know how he recovered from that. You know what I mean? He took a beating, and Kovalev is definitely a knockout artist who was knocking everybody else out, and Bernard Hopkins endured that and took all that punishment. So going in against another punisher, it's going to be the passing of the guard or Bernard Hopkins pulling another rabbit out of the hat type of trick where he's 51 beating somebody who's much younger, bigger, stronger, that kind of thing. So definitely not a bad fight for Bernard Hopkins. And he's going out like a G because he's at least challenging himself with a name and a guy who has some momentum, probably size advantage. Joe Smith Jr. I've seen pictures of him and stuff and seen him first from far. He's pretty big and he's definitely got youth on his side. And I would say at light heavyweight, he's stronger. So Bernard Hopkins is going to have to be on his game and, you know what I'm saying, be able to endure that post-Kovalev fight. Let me know what you guys think of the alien, the former executioner, Bernard Hopkins versus Joe Smith Jr. December 17th at the Forum. Let me know your fight predictions. Does Joe Smith Jr. have what it takes to beat a legend like Bernard Hopkins, a Philly legend? You know what I mean? Does the New Yorker Joe Smith Jr. have what it takes? Or is he too inexperienced to beat a guy like Bernard Hopkins? Drop that in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hey, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Sign